well let's see if we can improve on houses nova so it's um monday i'd promised my friend graham aka house everyone calls him house uh, that i would go up to his rolling road that he uses we built a, a Vauxhall XC engine for him for his Nova. Uh, it's done really well. He's used it no end. It's all steel. I think I put the video up of it. It's a good engine. Um, but we wanted to swing the cam timing around. So I promised him I'd do it, and today's the day. So I'm just driving two hours, 40 minutes up the road to the rolling road and they should be there by the time I get there. I'm due to land at uh, 20 past five. Uh, house is due on there at five so I'm hoping it's enough time for him to warm it up, give it a power run and then we're gonna give it a, a timing swing and see if we can uh, get some more torque and uh, a bit more power out of it. I'll show you the car when I'm there.
every day is a learning day and last night was it's the day after uh, going up doing house's camp timing for him up in Peterborough and it was three hours there three hours back and I must admit it was well worth the journey I, I mean I'm not a mapper the only ECU that I even remotely know is MBE on the pickups and because we need to um, so I went up there to, to just swing house's cam timing just to see if we could get any more power any more torque but Martin uh, who does the mapping on the life ECU that house is running oh he's incredible I mean he was even saying to me that he could see off some of the graphing that how harsh the uh, gear shift was on, on on the paddles um, and he went in and changed all that incredible very clever guy so house is Nova it's a, it's a J-Reg shell, the car was a built by Hangar 30 so it's fully seam welded, um, all the roll cage and everything that makes it adjustable and handle uh, was done by uh, Hangar 30. Um, Reese Jones who raced pickups, we had good success with Reese. he ran two, uh, one two pickup truck championships and now he sets up uh, the front running pickups or some of the front running pickups he set the Nova up so the car is on point handling wise it's got Alcon brakes on it um, my friend James at Relentless Performance has done an absolutely incredible job of the wiring loom and putting the ECU in and the dash and the PDU and all that lot um, so that's all all top work um, it's all BMRS fittings throughout it um, it's got 48 mil direct to head Gen V throttle bodies. I've just come up to get some shopping in Newbury and it's traffic is horrendous. Yeah, it's all on flappy paddles on the gearbox. It's got an Edwards 4 into 2, 4 into 2 into 1 exhaust, and it's got a ZF uh, ST82 6 speed gearbox um, with an SWR. Uh, bell housing and drive shafts and all that stuff uh, at the moment it's geared uh, to do 134 mile an hour at eight and a half thousand rpm but it is running out of uh, gearing uh, uh, well everywhere at Snetterton and at Brands Hatch so the idea was to try and get it to rev more but it, it produces its peak power at not past 8,000 so um, the gearing's getting changed now to do 140 at 8,000 rpm um, that's uh, that's his next job so the car is uh, a work of art and a, and a credit to house and everyone involved what they've created uh, I'm going to include some footage of house going round Snetterton in it so uh, that's well worth a watch and I'll try and drop some photos in as well if I can work out how to do it but yeah that's another one that we've done it's done a fair few hours now actually oh power wise what what it went with what we've gained so the engine has has been used no end since uh, building it we ran it on the rolling road and it made uh, 200 and 52 horsepower and 192 foot pound of torque. Sorry, I'm just parking. Okay, so the car weighs 735 kilo with 20 litres of fuel in it, and last night it made 250 brake horsepower and 197 foot pound of torque. Um, we found, and we found 25 foot pound of torque around 4000 rpm it completely changed the map i'll i'll um i'll ha i'll add a picture of the map just about here uh so you can see the before and after and the gains that we've found from it so i should imagine now it it's going to turn it into even more of a beast because the footage that i'm going to put up of of snetterton is before last night obviously um so house is going to try and get another truck a track day booked pretty soon um and yeah that's it and once again i just want to thank martin actually for showing me 
bits and bobs on the ECU, although I didn't absorb any of it because it's a minefield, but he didn't, if I asked a question, he was open and honest with the answer. He didn't try and hide anything. Uh, so it was really, really good spending time with someone like that. Uh, Jordan up there as well. He was uh, he was brilliant. And then and then House. But yeah, the cars are credit to everyone involved. Um, Anger 30, James Middleton, uh, us, I guess. Uh, House especially for, for building such a beast. And I hope you enjoy these few laps. And I'll catch you on the next video, guys. See you later. To our... Oh! Also, don't forget to like and subscribe, please. Um, definitely hit the like button. If you want to see more of the content that, like this of engine machining or racing, rolling roads, etc., then uh, hit the alert bell and, uh, and, and you'll get notified when I've got a new video up. See you later, guys. Bye. So I've put House's rolling road graph back up just to explain it. What we didn't find is lots of maximum horsepower torque and if you look at the blue the, the horsepower is the red line the torque is the blue line before is the faint line uh, and the dark line is after tuning and if you look at the torque it's found in the blue there at 4000 rpm it's found about 30 foot pound of torque and 22 horsepower so right right where you need it coming out the bend we found a massive chunk of torque and horsepower and, and then it just tails off and it's still producing the same amount of horsepower um, right up until 8,000 RPM. Unfortunately for House, it needs it to uh, not be on the limiter all the time. So he's either going to have to make a gearing change or we're going to have to try and find a way to make these revs carry on to about eight and a half.